I made 100% profit within a year and asked 100 brokers two things. One, what percentage of traders lose money on their platform? Believe me, it's not 90%. And two, why in the world do most traders lose money in trading? Here's what happened. Welcome. CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 83.45% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. Kindly note that for more information, you can check our website, capital.com. If we can be of any other assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Hello, thank you for contacting us. I will be happy to assist you. Please bear in mind that trading in CFDs carries a high degree of risk. Trading will not always be profitable and can result in the loss of your entire trading account balance. While with plus 500 you cannot lose more than your entire trading account balance, please ensure that you only invest money that you can afford to lose, in case of unfavorable results. Remember that CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 77% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. Should you require any further assistance, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for contacting. Unfortunately, we don't store information like this. It is difficult to say why those that lose money do so as there are many different variables that can cause investments to decrease in value. Apologies, we could not be of more assistance in this matter. Now, Interactive Brokers did send a reply, but it looks more like an HTML code. The first line said, below is a link to the section of the Interactive Brokers website that provides the regulatory reports and financial information. Here you will see statistics for performance of Interactive Brokers retail customer forex accounts. The actual link was not mentioned in the reply, but after looking up Interactive Brokers regulatory reports and financial information on Google, I did find the performance of Interactive Brokers retail customer forex accounts and the answers we were looking for. In the first quarter of 2022, around 45% of accounts were profitable and 55% lost money. In the fourth quarter of 2021, around 47% of accounts were profitable and around 52% lost money. In the third quarter, around 45% made money and around 55% lost money. And in the second quarter, 46% of accounts were profitable and 53% lost money. Now, this data is pretty interesting. The profitable percentage probably also includes the break-even and not traded accounts. But the unprofitable percentage is far less than what we have seen on other brokers so far. Furthermore, it's definitely not 90%. I also have an account with interactive brokers, so maybe profitable traders use the same broker. Or maybe interactive brokers is the holy grail that almost every beginner is looking for. Hmm, that's a joke. And no, this video is not sponsored by Interactive Brokers. Thank you for contacting AvaTrade. Currently, 71% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. Naturally, as with any type of trade or investment, wrong predictions can lead to the loss of money. Sincerely, the AvaTrade team. We would like to inform you that we received your message. Please click here to find the information which you are willing to confirm. Take care and have a lovely day. Similar to interactive brokers, Oanda linked me to their regulatory public disclosures page, which at the very bottom contained the total percentage of profitable accounts. In the first quarter of 2022, around 31% of accounts were profitable and 68% lost money. In the fourth quarter of 2021, around 30% were profitable and 69% lost money. Not nice. 
quarters 3 and 2 of 2021 also have a similar percentage of profitable accounts. And also, always remember what it says just below that. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Hello, thank you for contacting OctaFX. Unfortunately, we do not keep statistics on the loss of the traders. Please note that Forex trading is risky. It is possible to lose your investment if the market moves in the opposite direction of your trade. We recommend you to check our website pages that provide market insights and other information regarding Forex trading for a better understanding of the process. I hope this information helps. If there is anything else we could do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Hello! We'd love to know how you feel about our recent conversation. Please select the emoji that best describes your feelings now. How did we make you feel? Thank you very much for contacting. Kindly be advised that 75.93% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs. You should consider how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. Unfortunately, I cannot answer your second question accurately as it varies from person to person. It is always best to test things out on a demo account first so you can get an idea on how the live account will work. You can open a free demo account anytime via the following link. Thanks for reaching out. These statistics always change, so it's not something that we monitor continually. However, last time I saw the stats in 2020, it was around 60 to 65%. It's hard to know this without doing extensive surveys because it could come down to a variety of reasons. You're welcome. Hi. Thank you for your request. CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 67% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. If you have more queries, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for contacting us. Comsec cannot provide this information. However, on the homepage of our website, you can review some of the risks and benefits associated with trading on our platform. I hope this information has been helpful. Hi, thank you for contacting us. So that we may review this further for you and provide more details, please respond with a registered Pepperstone account email, along with your date of birth and full residential address for security purposes. Please include any relevant account numbers also. We look forward to hearing from you. If you don't see your favorite broker mentioned in this video, this is probably why. Some brokers required me to open an account with them before asking questions. And those were all the brokers that replied out of 100. So, what we learned from the broker's data is that 90% don't lose money, around 70-80% to do. The highest percentage of unprofitable accounts we have seen today is around 83% and the lowest is around 55%. 55 is pretty good. For anyone just getting into trading, this should be a great insight. Trading is not as scary as 90% lose money, but it's not easy either. I mean, we have tested multiple trading strategies on the Trading Rush website and have data that says a bad entry strategy is rarely the main reason for blown up accounts. Some brokers said that one of the reasons is using high leverage. Some said it varies from person to person and some said there are a variety of reasons. Well, I made 100% profit within the last 12 months and have tried to show what professional traders do right that 90%, I mean around 70 to 80%, don't in the upcoming Trading Rush Foundation series. There is also a stock market series coming in the future that contains advanced and complex strategies I used to make 100% profit within a year. So subscribe to see it. If you want to watch it now, it is available for Trading Rush Patreon supporters as early access right now. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.